Hello and welcome back to another Lego review. This time I'm doing Lego Marvel and I'm doing set 76167 Iron Man Armory. It was released on the 1st of August 2020, contains 258 pieces, is rated ages 7 plus and contains 5 minifigs. Tony Stark in plain clothing, Iron Man, I'm not sure which Mark suit that is but it is one of them. A prototype Iron Man and two AIM agents. Iron Man's Hall of Armor was a very memorable place from the first two Iron Man movies and a little bit into the third and has since been kind of moved to the Avengers Tower. But in the comics it's essentially a name given to any of his armories that contained his suits which there I think has been a few of. In the movies he actually had two rooms one containing his first seven suits and the other containing the rest. The first hall was destroyed in Iron Man 3 by extremist soldiers on the order of Aldra Killian, leader of AIM. And the second remains unused due to the Clean Slate Protocol where he used his suits as fireworks. And now he keeps his armour in Avengers Tower. Just a quick look at the back of the box now. Um, it shows that it comes with some stud shooters on the car there. Uh, I will mention that they are kind of shiny uh, stud shooters and they can be used as stud blasters if you want to take them out of the car altogether and use them as stud blasters, which you know you can or you can't do. It just depends on who's using it. Um, it you can see here it comes with uh, Tony's toy box there in the corner with a little sandwich on top, which is pretty neat to see in there. Uh, Tony Stark in plain clothing there, just waking up seems to be for the day with his cup of coffee. And he wants to maybe go for a drive in his hot rod, which is one of my selling points for me anyway. This hot rod was kind of the nail in the coffin. I had to get it. Um, I didn't understand why the hamburger was up here on the little screen. But I realise now that it's actually his delivery. He wants extra something on it. Extra cheese, I think he said he wants on it. Um, which is pretty cool. It's it's nice to add in there. It's kind of lighthearted. I love that kind of little uh, addition. And you can see then the Iron Man suits displayed there. Uh, you see it comes with a fire extinguisher and a wrench because he's always working away and sometimes it might get a bit hectic so he needs the fire extinguisher. And it comes with this little thing which I'm not quite sure what it is. I'm assuming it's like a 3D hologram either designer for his suits or displayer for some of his suit ideas or something. Um, but it also, of course, comes with the micro figure in the middle there. Now a little overview of the set. Um, as I said, it comes with his toy box, which is kind of interesting, and a little sandwich on top, um, a coffee cup, and it comes with these little attachments here for whenever Iron Man is flying or shooting blasts out of his hands. Uh, it comes with the car, the hot rod, of course. And as you know, it comes with all the rest that I have just explained to you there, the figures and the, uh, the fire extinguisher and all that kind of stuff there. Lovely to see. It's a great little set, I think, to be honest. And it comes with uh, the wings there for the back of the Iron Man suit, which you'll see on there. Now I suppose it's time to get on to the minifigs. So starting off with Tony Stark in plain clothing, you can see him here with his uh, goatee and his moustache looking very well. Um, his little eyebrow raise, of course, because he is a bit cocky, in fairness. He's wearing his nice wee shirt there, his relaxing shirt, and I'd say they are probably jeans, dark blue jeans. He has a little bit of printing on the back there, uh, which is always nice to see. Some A lot of the time they just leave that as one blank colour. Um, not much to say on it. They have. It's nice to have a Tony Stark without uh, the Iron Man uniform on because I actually don't have one of them at the moment. I have a few Iron Mans, but I don't have any Tony Starks, if you know what I mean. Um, he comes with this nice hairpiece. I'm not sure is it unique to him. I don't think it is, but uh, it hasn't. It doesn't really get used a lot. And you can see on the other side of his face here, there is the uh, essentially the inside of the Iron Man helmet for whenever you want to make him wear the Iron Man suit and replace the heads that they have in the Iron Man suits with this face, which you can do as you please. Now, not much to say on this figure. It's a nice figure. I like the way they've done it, and it is definitely a good addition. Now, the only thing I will say is sometimes this blue 
kind of pokes out from underneath the head underneath the hair there but um you know from from a display point of view that's not a bad thing maybe a play but again it's not a massive thing but just something that i thought i should point out um again not much to say so we'll move on swiftly to the first iron man suit it comes with now the first iron man suit it comes with is the one you see in front of you it is the only red suit in the packet and it comes with a nice few attachments now getting started we have first off the fact that he has a plane head underneath that which is a cool piece to have um although you know it would maybe have been nicer just to get loads of tony stark heads but i suppose that would kind of be a bit strange as well at the same time because then there'd just be loads of tony starks um great printing i think on the actual torso i think they've done really well there looks very detailed there's a lot going on looks very cool i think um looks very kind of futury and you can see kind of all the little plates that go say on top of each other and under each other it looks very well um one thing i will say is they've changed the helmet um there's a nice printing on it um very kind of basic still though um not a lot nothing really printed on the head but it's molded quite well something new they've done with the mask on this that i really don't like is they sacrificed the opening visor um as that we saw say on the older iron man's that it opened up like that it was pretty cool that is an older iron man that comes with a different set in fact it comes with the first hall of armor and this one as you can see is one piece it does not open up at all which is it's bad it's bad it's not good but you know they have done um good things elsewhere um, some of the attachments he comes with now, he has a few of these things to make it look like he is flying and he has he is shooting um, kind of energy out of his hands as well, which he does in the film, which is pretty cool. Um, and you'll see he can slot then onto this little slope here, which is pretty cool. I, I, uh, I really appreciate how they've done that. I've really enjoyed building that part because it was... Uh, it just looks lovely. I love the translucent pieces, but I think if you've watched any of my videos, you should know that I'm just a sucker for them at this stage. But um, another thing I will say is they kind of fit well in Tony's toy box if you ever wanted to just kind of store them away. But we'll get into that whenever I'm showing you the uh, toy box itself. Um, some nice attachments it comes with there and especially good if you want to use them while he is using his wings here. Now I'm just going to put this head back on. I'm not going to put his face on. Which brings me to another topic. I don't know why they bothered to put the extra face on Tony Stark when they don't have the mask opening up. It doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, but, as I will just keep going on to say, these wings are very nice. There's a very nice feature to it. Um, you know, they're not that sturdy, but for a small build like that, I don't know what you'd really expect. You'd kind of expect what you're given here with it. And it's very nice to see. I think the stickers are a nice addition to it, but again, they could have been printed. Um, yeah, it's a very nice set. And to be honest, whenever you're not using this, I like the fact that it has its own little stand on the on the Hall of Armor, and then this uh, suit also gets his own stand, which is pretty interesting. But um, yeah, very, very happy with this figure. A little bit of footprint in there as well, which is it always kind of uh, is a nice thing to see on the Lego figures. Um, but yeah, very happy with this minifigure as well. We can move so on to the next figure. So the next figure we got here is the prototype iron man now don't get this confused with mark one iron man which we see in the first movie the first iron man suit he ever made this is the prototype for his first uh colored iron man suit so this would be kind of like mark two or the prototype for mark two do you know um now it's nice to see it's it's nice to see them doing a little bit of footprint in there um and also some leg print in there they've gone the the whole shebang here they've done some back printing um the the helmet is molded quite nicely um but you know it's kind of simple enough as far as iron man goes um very nice to see the plates done there it looks kind of quite realistic and it's quite shiny which i love about most of the iron man suits 
um, but especially the silver chrome ones because they just shine they have that beautiful shine off them um, again another helmet underneath or another head sorry underneath like that got again a great piece to have um, but yeah very decent figure um, again I will say it the, the helmet does not lift up even though it looks kind of like it does there but that is actually just where the printing seems to stop but yeah again it is one solid piece which is kind of disappointing for these two but um, I'm not really going to say much because I will just be displaying them anyway as long as I have one helmet that opens up I'm kind of happy enough on to the AIM agents now both of them are exactly the same same print same pieces same everything um, they come with one gun each which I don't like one thing about I don't like the way they um, add this little thing on to a perfectly good gun but they always do that whether they use it as like the middle part of a turret or they use it like they put binoculars on the top of it to make it a longer gun or something they always change it but I think I, I don't like that because I like this piece I think it's a great piece on its own I think it's a very good standalone piece but look we'll not get into that it's they've, they've done well at the same time for what they've done now I will say I have another quarrel, quarrel with this uh, figure. I don't like the helmet because I've gotten so many Naboo Starfighters over the year and so many um, Mos Espa pod races and stuff like that. And there's a few other sets it comes in, but it's always brown and it, it's just reused. I think it's the exact same mold since 1999. Um, and it's just, I'm sick of it. I'm sick to death of it. I think it looks ugly at this stage. I think it's only because um, of my experience with it. I've just had so many of them and I've never really had much of an interest in them. And I think it's just because I'm sick of it. Now I could be a little biased on it, but I just think they're awful. I just think they look awful, even in this new color that they've added in um, and probably new material but again it's the same mold definitely since 1999 a bit stale you know otherwise taking off the helmet you can see there that he has he's only one print but he has a nice print we can take this out of the way to show you kind of more of his little breathing apparatus there and mask um, so that's him and this breathing apparatus can be seen in a few other sets it can be seen in Darth Vader's castle I'm fairly sure Luke back to tank uh, has this piece as well which is quite interesting to see you know i love this piece as well because you know it's just a little bit unusual and i've lost the helmet for that so we'll go on to this fella um we have the torso print here which is very nice uh, a little bit chrome a little bit yellow uh the chrome ish kind of legs the kind of dark chrome legs are a nice touch as well the back print in here is decent it's very well done quite detailed um, the color yellow, the contrast between that and the other darker colors on the minifigure is very nice to see. And you can see there in the middle, a little AIM logo, which is always cool to see them putting in those little things there. Um, all in all, I will say it's a decent figure, but it could do with maybe a different helmet or even no helmet. It kind of looks better with no helmet. But um, yeah, again, decent figure, very nice printing on the torso and very nice contrast between colors but otherwise you know it's not there's not much to write home about so now i suppose we can get on to the builds so as per usual i will start off with the smaller build and work my way up in size so this is tony's toy box on top you can see um a coffee cup here and a sandwich or a burger whatever you want to call it and also you can see that there is some kind of remote I am, I'm assuming that's what it is because he's holding it in the picture. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Now with the coffee cup, of course, you can take it off. You can put it in Tony's hand and you can make him drink the cup of coffee, you know, waking up in the morning. Well, whether it's a cup of coffee or tea or even milk, I don't know, whatever you want it, whatever you want it to be. Imagination is key for these kind of things. Um, but of course, that's a nice little feature to have on there. Uh, this thing, again, I'm assuming it's some kind of remote because he was holding it in the picture. But if you wanted to, you know, he can hold it like that, uh, which is fairly handy. Um, I don't know, can he really hold the burger? But you can take it off and you can put it in other places. So if you wanted, you could take this off and swap it with the burger there, which, you know, is always good. You can always just kind of do what you want with it, place things 
wherever they need to be. Um, but I will say it is kind of useful, this toy box, that there is empty space in it. Because what I've done myself is put all the attachments for the Iron Man in. Bar the big base part here, bar the circle part here, you can fit the rest in there nice and good. So you're not losing all of the pieces. Overall, a handy little addition to the set. Um, I'd say mainly the, the main great thing about it is that it can store those little bits for Iron Man so they don't get lost. Moving on to the car. The car is a little dusty. Okay, a little dusty. It's been a few days um, in, on my bedroom floor and I like to dust some of the sets in the bedroom but maybe not the ones on the floor so that's why it's a little bit dusty but getting out of that situation we have the car, the hot rod I love because I missed the hot rod promo that was earlier on in the year and I just never got over it so I'm really happy that I have this hot rod now it's a nice and sturdy little build I will say this part here is nice and kind of tiled off um, which gives it a really nice kind of sturdy impression there it makes it look decent decent very nice um this these little axles i wasn't sure how they were going to do them but they are you if you can tell kind of what pieces they are there um i'm not sure what to call them they're kind of like on angles like you know um but very nice to see that done, done there it's done in a very kind of clever way um you can see there that there is a good bit of detail kind of i suppose with these bits um, you can see the front two lights there are translucent little studs. Very nice. You can see the flames is a sticker on the side. Um, if you want, we can show you what piece it is on. It is on one of these kind of pieces here. One of them kind of pieces there, which is quite interesting to see. I had to put the sticker on myself. And to be honest, I did an okay job. It wasn't that difficult, especially with a kind of shape like that. It's easy enough um to do but again i would have preferred printed tiles uh we can see he has stark five as his bumper sticker there with two little translucent red studs under there to impersonate the lights um all in all i think it's a great little build these little stud shooters on the side kind of do a really good job at uh making you think they're exhausts you know they're very nice uh two smaller wheels in the front and two bigger wheels on the back makes it look more realistic. He can sit in there on two studs instead of four, so his legs don't fall off every time. Um, and yeah, he has a little tiny little windshield there in the front. Overall, it's a decent build. It wheels nicely. It's sturdy. I don't think it'll be breaking anytime soon if it falls off a table, which is great. And of course, you can fit the figures in there as you please. If he ever needs to we'll go out and get milk or something, I don't know, because uh, he'd probably be using his suit otherwise. Or if he just wants to go for a wee drive, you know. And he sits in there nice and sturdy. Um, but yeah, very, very happy with this little build. I think it's one of my favourite little extra builds to date because I just love the car. And as I said, I missed the hot rod throughout the year. So I was kind of disappointed, but I'm happy enough now that I have this very nice addition to the set and I suppose now we can move on to the main build. As you will see these four little chambers look almost identical and that's because for the most part they are. I don't really think there's much of a difference apart from what you attach. So this here um, you can see is one of the only difference between the other three. Um, this here you can obviously take that off as you wish and attach it to anywhere else. Now I will just give you a little look at the fact that it is his burger delivery. He wants extra cheese, which is a nice little feature that they've added in there. Not feature, but a nice nice little uh, sticker that they've added in there just for the sake of keeping it all lighthearted, which is great. I love to see that. It's very Lego of Lego to do that. Um, but again, you can take that off and put it on anywhere you want, really, because it's all about imagination. Uh, these little chambers are also identical to the... Iron Man Hall of Armor that was released earlier on in either this year or late last year. It comes with nine of these little chambers and you can add these four onto them with ease. And also the little mini build on the end you can also attach onto wherever you want. Now I will say that one bar on the end has one sole purpose and that is to hang up the Iron Man wings 
whenever your Iron Man figure is standing up for his in his designated spots here, um, which is a nice handy feature. But to be honest, I will probably be displaying mine a little differently, taking this out and adding it onto the rest of the build. Um, you can see that it comes with a spanner and a fire extinguisher, which is, you know, you can take that out if you don't want it there, because it does actually come with this exact little build in um, the Iron Man Hall of Armor, with, as I was talking about earlier, with the nine slots. Um, this mini build on the end here, as I was saying earlier, I think it's some kind of 3D kind of designer, maybe, or just displayer for his suits. Um, one way or another it comes with a tiny little micro figure of Iron Man in the middle and I think that is just fantastic I just love those little figures it is actually my first micro figure that I have in real life I've seen them in Harry Potter sets and stuff very happy now to have it you can see as well his phone which you can also put in his hand the same way you put the card in his hand earlier on which is a lovely addition to the set um, you can if you want you can take these out all together and then you can put as I'm going to show you a little example, if you take this off, for example, and detach that and put it up on top of each other like that. If you wanted to make a very tall, if you wanted to make a very tall armory, which you could definitely, definitely get away with. Getting on to the back of the set here, we have... I don't know if you can see them properly, but if you wanted, you could do this um, and show. There we go. You can see some of the different suits that he has displayed there. All stickers on plain glass sheets. Um, well, you know, plastic or maybe some kind of hologram. I'm not sure. Anyway, that is a lovely addition to the whole set. If you want as well, you can see that they do actually shine through there. Now, not a lot to say on that. Um, this is, I don't really like it, to be honest with you, I don't, because it kind of sticks out at the end. If you wanted to make a circle of his whole Iron Man thing, you'd just, you'd probably end up taking this out and then putting it somewhere else. You know, it's, it's, it doesn't really fit in as well as the rest. But again, it is nice to see that this little thing is here. But, you know, I probably would just leave it to the side. I'm pretty sure that concludes everything I have to say about it. I'm very, very happy with this set, but it is only an expansion set, essentially, to a bigger set that has been released. If you want, I can give you a little peek of that together. And here it is all put together. As you can see, Tony Stark in his plain clothing is a great addition to the entire set because he has actually only been in this suit in my last set for a while and again it is a little bit strange now that I'm kind of looking at it all together that there's a Tony Stark here and there's a Tony Stark there and if they all had Tony Stark faces I think I'd actually get a little bit weirded out to be honest but um, again it, like this is the older set here everything you see here bar Tony Stark in his plain clothes is pretty much the older set um, give you a look at the back, back there as well and the jet packs and stuff um, but this over here should be on the end of this. So whatever that red Iron Man suit is there, that's the last That's the first, last one of it, and that's essentially where the jetpack should be. But for now, I've added them all together, so that's it. And it looks, it looks I gotta say, it looks very well together. There is another way to display it there. Or you can try and curl the whole thing in all together. There's like a few ways you can do it. It looks really well either way. We'll move these over and we'll move this around. Now it does get a bit tight, I have to say, which is, I think, the reason I took off one of the pieces there at the end. But like, there's a no, there's an awful lot of ways you can uh, display this whole thing, and I think it just looks amazing, to be honest. We'll take off this part here and see about closing it up. See, with about one more part there, you could make a little circle out of it. I think that's really cool. Um, maybe about two more of these altogether to be safe. Um, but yeah, it's very nice. And if we want to see then the back 
Like it is an amazing looking set, whatever way you want to display it. And there we have, it's connected all together. You can move it like this way or that way, or you can try and make a real circle out of it if you have the patience to make a full circle. I think that's pretty close enough, you know. Um, but there it is, it's connected the whole way along. It's definitely a great set. Like, I think it's one of my favorite Avengers sets, which is why I was so easily persuaded myself into getting the set. Um, I'm not really a fan of the Avengers Towers and stuff like that, because I just, I feel like they're just very kiddie. Whereas this, this is a very nice addition to the collector's bench. So that's the end of my review for the Iron Man Armory. Final verdicts, I will say it's an amazing set for display because if you get a few of them, you can really make the Iron Man Hall of Armor. If you have the set called the Iron Man Hall of Armor already, then it is a great addition to it. It comes with some great minifigures. I like the small detail that the helmet doesn't open isn't a big problem for me as, as a displayer. But um, for maybe maybe for a, a kid playing with it, it will be a little bit of a problem compared to what they have got. Great minifigure selection all the same. A lovely little mini builds came with the set. Like this hot rod is amazing and the toy box is a great addition to the set. It's a nice sturdy set, easy set, fun set and beautiful set. All around I will say it is recommended. Um, especially for the price. It's not that expensive for what you get. Thanks for watching my video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. It would be very appreciated. Um, comment down below if I've done anything well or if I can do anything better. We'll see you again and take care.